you know, we started the year uh, after having used our, our hay storage, and so we didn't carry hardly any, any hay over in the state of Oklahoma here this year. We had a long, tough winter. And then, of course, we had a very dry spring and, the, and then a dry, hot summer. And so uh, the hay stalks are very limited. And, it, you know, if you weren't able to raise enough hay, uh, it's hard to find and very expensive this year. Uh, consequently, people are interested, rightfully so, in ways to stretch their hay supply. And just two simple uh, methods that might work for some people uh, to do that. First of all, we've, we've talked about this a lot on the Sun Up program, uh, but that is simply use an efficient hay feeder. Uh, we've discovered, you know, that uh, there's tremendous difference in the style of hay feeder in terms of hay waste. And we've discovered that the really good efficient feeders uh, waste only somewhere in the neighborhood of five to eight percent of the original bale weight. Some of the lower end feeders, I'll describe those here in just a minute, but some of the lower end feeders consistently have wasted 20 to 21 percent. And certainly this is not a year to be wasting that much of the hay crop. What differentiates a good hay feeder or an efficient hay feeder from an inefficient one? We think there's two primary features that make the, make the difference. That is a solid ring or skirt around the bottom of that feeder, about the bottom 18 inches. Uh, you can imagine that keeps a lot of the hay uh, from rolling, gradually rolling out of the bottom side of that feeder. The second feature that makes a big difference is some sort of a uh, modified basket or cone mechanism to hold that bale towards the middle of the feeder until the hay gets low and kind of falls out below that hay or, or below the basket or the cone mechanism. Of course, another uh, very efficient way to feed hay is to roll it out uh, with, you know, whether it be a, a piece of machinery. Uh, sometimes if the bales aren't too tight, you can start at the top of a hill and roll it down the hill. It's a little challenging to uh, moderate or, or control the amount of, of hay that you feed that way. But if you can feed just enough hay so that the cattle in that pasture clean it up in that 24 hour period, the hay waste is dramatically reduced. If you go the rolling hay out route, once you get to the time of year where they're relying primarily on hay as their forage source, you have to feed it every day. But it is a way uh, to tremendously reduce hay waste.